Hey, hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Tamikia J, and this is a girl who just loves makeup. You guys, I am not a professional. I'm just somebody who loves, 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 loves makeup. So, we are going to do a, what are we doing today? A holiday, non-holiday kind of makeup tutorial. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, guys, so I am starting on clean skin. Always make sure you clean your face, moisturize. That's very important before doing any makeup. Right here, I'm using my Smash, Smashbox um, Oil and Shine Control. And this is my All Over Primer. And this one is my Becca Poreless Matte Priming. And I use that one in my T-Zone. You guys know I've said before that I do have very oily skin, so that helps to control that and to mattify my look. And again, I'm just putting that in my T-zone. I did put some on my brows because I do have um, oily brows, and I just set that with any translucent setting power powder I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm doing my brows and this one, I love this pencil. It is the Precisely My Brow Benefit Brow in number four. And right here, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm using the Morphe E43 brush. And I'm just carving out my brow, just cleaning it up. I really like a really clean brow. So I'll use that to underline the bottom portion of my brow and um, blend that down. And then I also do the top as well and just clean it up. So right here, I'm using the Deluxe Crease Brush, and this is my Real Techniques brush, and I use it, um, it's kind of a semi-dense brush. I use that to just clean up and blend the concealer that I just placed under and above my brow, and it gives it a really, really clean look so that I don't have the halo brow effect. And I really like a really clean, more sculpted brow. So I do spend a lot of time on my brows. Right here, I'm just going back in into the front and creating those hair-like strokes at the front of my brow. And I'll also take my Deluxe Crease uh, Blending Brush. That's the Real Techniques brush that I was using earlier. And so I'll blend that out a little bit. You'll see me kind of create like a faded out look. And this is the MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. And I'm using this as a primer for my lid. I really like this. Um, it's really smooth and you'll see that I use a little bit too much on this brow on both um, my lids I'm sorry I use a little bit too much up there so I'm going to take that same crease brush and I'm just kind of going to kind of blend that out and smooth that out really good and make sure that my entire lid space is covered and ready for shadows So I'm gonna set that area with the, again, trans, just the translucent powder. And it really helps for your shadows to apply really easy and helps them to blend a lot easier. So that's a tip. So I'm using my Morphe palette. And this is the Morphe 35B. It's an artistry palette. Lots of really pretty colors. And I'm using a Morphe blending brush. And it's a pretty uh, fluffy brush. And I'm just putting it all over 
my color all over my lid just kind of as a base color you don't have to do this some people will start with a, a transition color but I'm using this as an all-over base color I think that was the color go nude and so you see my little mini has stepped in the room. He's supposed to be downstairs eating dinner. Just asking me what I was doing. So now I'm going in with a smaller blending brush by Morphe. And I am going to use these two colors, actually three colors. I'm going to use those two colors um, as transition colors and then I'll go back in with that Go Nude color and use that um, as a blender. And that first color was Vixen. The more reddish color is turned on. And then I'm also using the color Scandal. So I'm just blending those into my crease. And if you don't know where your crease is, again, just touch your eyeball and the start of your eyeball, that's where your crease is. And so that's generally where your transition colors will go. back in with another Morphe blending brush and just kind of making that crease a little bit deeper packing a little bit more color up there and blending it out you want to make sure you blend really well so that you do not have any lines of demarcation you want everything to be very seamless with your makeup and let me tell you brushes are the key so you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on brushes, Morphe or Elf. Um, those are pretty uh, cost efficient brands and you can go to Ulta or um, in Target or Walmart or like that for Elf. Um, but they sell all of those, those more cost efficient brushes at um, places like Ulta and you know even some of the store brushes. Ulta and Sephora, those are really good brushes. Um, you can also go on the Morphe website and order brushes as well, but really invest in some brushes just so you can learn the correct techniques. If your makeup is not um, doing well or you think you don't know what you're doing, you can always invest in brushes. And here's another Morphe brush, and I'll link all the brush numbers down below and so I'm going into my lid and creating a kind of smoky glitter eye and all you're doing is that is a flat brush and I'm just gonna pack that color onto my lid real simple until you get the color you desire just keep packing And right here I'm using another smaller Morphe brush and I'm just going to blend the outer crease and just kind of blend that up um, into those transition colors. 
so that it's all blended and really seamless. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going back in again with that flat brush and applying more of that darker color onto my lid. It's always best to start very light. You can always add more. It's easier to add than it is to take off. Um, if you take off, then nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to take off your entire eye look and um, you have to start over. And again, just blending into that crease. just so I can get those lines of demarcation out and just making sure everything just flows. Simple. And I'm blending a lot I blend I tend to blend a lot I just don't want any lines all right so I am using the NYX glitter primer and this is like a almost like a glue and it um, it uses um, you put it on your lid or on your lips or wherever you are applying glitter and it acts and as an adhesive it's really really good this is my first time using it and I was absolutely pleased with the results and for the glitter I'm using a MAC glitter in black it's really pretty really holiday really festive um, really uh, extra <laughs> which is me but really pretty goes on real smooth and you don't need a lot um, I just kind of put some in the lid of the container uh, from the container and just applied it and I just used a another flat brush to just apply it and once you put your primer on you just go for it and just put it on your lid or wherever you're gonna Put that um, glitter and it like I said it goes on really pretty but you want to make sure that your makeup is blended and that you've already packed on all the color that you want it on because once this goes up there um, it's, it's pretty hard to pack on any additional colors on on that area so just make sure that you have done that And I'm going in with my Milk Luminous Blur Stick and just putting it on the larger pore areas of my face. And I'm also going in with the Maybelline Master Camo in the color Apricot and covering up those dark marks. So you see I'm covering up those on my chin from old acne scars or mask knee from wearing my mask so much and um, get little breakouts or whatever around my chin and up under my eyes not significantly dark under my eyes but dark enough that I want to cover and I just like a more blended and just a really smoother complete look under my eyes and again you do not have to use a brush for this you can absolutely use your finger to blend that in and this is just a Real Techniques face brush 
and I'm using my Fenty Beauty and Soft Matte and I really love this foundation shade and it's in the shade number 345 and I'm just using a setting spray just to use stifling motions all over my face just to kind of get that color blended in really well and then I'll go in with my real with my beauty blender I'm sorry going with the beauty blender and just kind of blend the excess down and make it so that it's a smoother finish and then I'm using Juvia's Place in shade number 13 and I'm using that as my concealer and I'm also going in with the shade 16 as well that's a lighter shade and I'm just using that in the corners and I'm also going in with the foundation stick in the color guinea and I'm going to use that as my contour and this is a elf brush I was watching Game of Thrones y'all that's what has me distracted so anytime you've seen me turn around in this video if I'm not talking to my son I am watching Game of Thrones and it was a really really good episode but just blending in so what I do is I just let that concealer kind of dry down for about a minute or so and um, so while I wait for that to dry down I'll go on and blend out my um, contour areas and just around the perimeter of my face and you want to blend up whenever you get to your your uh, cheek area just kind of blend up into your concealer and so again just spray the beauty blender with a setting spray and that is just a regular mix setting spray I'm sorry it's actually an LA girl setting spray and just blending out that concealer so you see it blends really well once I went in with the lighter color in the corners and kind of on top a little bit so I don't have to go back in with an additional color or even more concealer as my highlight area and blending down my nose and on my forehead You always want to make sure that your beauty blender is wet. So I'm going in with the Sephora color. Uh oh, y'all, I've activated mama mode. Y'all help your nephew. He was not eating dinner and kept asking for cookies. So I had to threaten the spanking. All right back to it so I just went in with the um, what you saw me do there before before I was rudely interrupted I just went in with my all-over setting powder just kind of set my face and that was the Sephora setting powder in the color tan and now I'm just going in with my Becca and I'm using um, that to, as my bronzer and right here I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just going to set my under eye and what you want to do first is you want to make sure that your under eye is set with no creases no lines so I'll go in and just kind of look up and blend that out first and then I'll just use a patting motion to pat that color in up under my eyes to set that under eye and then I'll go in and I'll bake from that moment carve out my contour on my nose so that's the M164 still going back in with that same color guinea 
and I'm carving out the contour on my nose and it's just a smaller brush more precise and I always do my nose contour last because it's just easier for me to blend you don't have to do it that way now that episode of Game of Thrones got really good I think I was watching the Battle of the Bastards and so that's like one of the one of my favorite episodes but just blending that out down my nose and it's really simple you just want to draw the line from your brow right down on the top you never want to draw your contour on the side you want to draw it on the top and just blend blending that out and um, can't remember what brush that is it's an elf brush the numbers have rubbed off on it but I use that as a little blending brush on my nose and just going in with my LA girl it's just a regular black eyeliner I know it's by LA girl going in with a smaller black brush and I'm gonna set that eyeliner and I'm just using what was left on the brush from my black shade that I added earlier just using what was left and I'm gonna set and smoke out that lower lash line and this is another blending brush that I used earlier in my crease that one has like some of the some of the that um, brick red color up there, and so I'm just using that to like really smoke out my bottom lash line. All right, y'all. This is a new palette I got from Sarcastic Cosmetics, and it's a blush palette. It's called Are You Blushing, and the color that I'm using is Girl by. Just putting on some lashes here using the Ardell Faux Mink Wispy and I'll link those below and adding my mascara. I always put on my mascara after I have applied my lashes and this is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Lash um, Mascara that I'm using in the color black. I'm just applying that to my upper lash, my lower lash line, dusting off my Laura Mercier setting powder and then I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury that's just another little Morphe brush and it's a brightener up under my eye and just highlighting my inner corner again blush, brushing off the, any excess powder and y'all, this red right here, this is another sarcastic color. This is called Why You Wanna Know. This is the most amazing matte red I've ever used in my life. Oh my God. I mean, when I tell you it's no transfer, no transfer whatsoever, and the, the color was perfect. I did not have to use any liner, anything to darken it up nothing it just went on perfect so you want to make sure that before it dries down that you put on the coats that you want and I just kind of used this color just used it to kind of line my lips like I said I didn't have to add any additional liner to it but y'all it's perfect I will link her in this video and link her website but if you haven't tried it please go try it and this is the final look yes curls that hair was popping this was day 11 or 12 I don't know but it's, we in the double digit numbers with this hair right here in this video I've since watched it but this, this video the hair was popping the curls were popping 
and I just added some clips that I got from Amazon and just pulled my hair back and the earrings I got those from Target yeah I don't sleep on Target but thank y'all so much so much so much so much thank you for viewing and thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for commenting thank you for subscribing don't forget tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and tell another friend come back and view my channel subscribe like comment let me know what you want to see let me know how I did let me know what you um, didn't like what you did like if you have questions and I'll keep posting more videos thank you guys so much I really really appreciate the love that I get on Instagram and on this channel and thank you again see y'all next time bye